We're here with Mark Fisher, owner of Deep Impact Boats, on a more simple version of their 399 Open. Mark, if you wouldn't mind, a couple highlights. So, so here we are, Alan. <laughs> we're, on, uh, we're on another brand new 399 Sport open bow. This boat is, you know, you've heard me say mild to wild, this boat would be the mild side of Deep Impact, where this boat is done in white gel coat with, with some nice accents. We again customized the interior. We had some silver. We had silver on the floor. We threw the motors in custom paint and silver. So you, you can actually have a toned down version of, of a performance boat as well. And this boat actually fits, fits the yacht tender market. It, fit, it fits the pleasure boater that's not the power boater, performance boater that the fancy paint job. Right. So we, we have other options that, and you know, you don't have to have this, all the flash, but you can have a really, really beautiful, elegant looking, very easy to maintain boat too, no paint job to worry about scratching. You know, so there's a whole other side to that, and the boat really just looks phenomenal in all white. Yeah. Really very, nice. very clean, white with gray accents. The blue lighting just touches on yeah, it beautifully. So and you can the sea really, deck really as well. I mean, here. gorgeous combination. You know, again, this one is a quad Mercury Verado 350 boat. This boat will run uh, in a top speed of around 75 miles an hour. That should do the job. Nice bench seat in the back. You run yeah, comfortably. Yeah, you also have the armrest to fold out, so it kind of gives you the best of both worlds. Like if you had bolster seating, you wouldn't have the option of having the, like a couch. So we kind of customize it a little. Have the so when you're sitting in the boat and you're running, you have something to hang on to. So it keeps you safe. Yeah. I see. This is a nice big open area. You got the side door, which is super comfortable when you're at the dock or the, at the sandbar. The dive door was part of the redesign of the boat. The original 399 had a much smaller dive door. We, we put in a real door that opens and, and really is a functional door. And really fantastic, actually, the size of it. Okay, and coming up over here, we have a rear facing seat. And again, leaning this is post. different seating configurations that we can do. We can do a second row of seats. We can do a rear facing seat. We can do a single row of seats with a, with a countertop here, even too. If somebody wants that, we can do the cooler or a live well under the, under the rear facing seat that we've had a couple of people that do a little fishing. They want a live well, we can do that here. All right, so any of the configurations you've seen on any of the deep impacts we put on there, you can mix and match to your liking. So yeah, pretty, pretty much, I mean, it's again, it's, <laughs> it's up to who, you know, every owner does, wants different things and wants different colors and has different tastes and we cater to that owner and really no two boats are ever alike. So here we are at the helm of the, of the new 399 Sport. Again, very customizable. This particular boat we did with twin 17-inch garments with the smaller Garmin screen in the center. So you actually have three Garmin screens there. Um, an array, array of electronics, depending on the owner's preference. We can do radar, we can do autopilot. A lot of standard equipment here. We have JL Audio in this boat. Again, very customizable to, to the owner's taste, and, and we can you know do anything from mild to wild, as right. I always say. <laughs> oh, I see here we've got your famous Euro top with the panoramic sunroof. This is our patented aerodynamic hard top with the panoramic glass roof, which is a great, great feature on this boat. It's a great hangout area, especially on hot, sunny days. You don't get the heat through. This cuts the heat down tremendously. It's a very cool place to hang out. Lots of shade, very comfortable, very dry. If it right. rains, you have protection. Yeah, you're not going to get it, 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 yeah, it's a great. Oh, it still lets design. a little sunlight in, so yes. you're not dark and you know feeling uh, compacted in an area. I see you have these little. Yes, we we've designed some wind deflection for this boat, which which actually works phenomenal. The little flare that we put into the plexiglass there, it actually pushes the wind out this way on on a outward angle, so it protects your your whole cockpit area behind the console, where you could be behind in the rear facing seat, you could be all the way in the middle of the back seat, and you won't have really any wind at speed. So notice inside the console is a beautiful cabin space that we've created under, underneath. We've, uh, we've put a, a basically a head and a sleeping area forward. You have an enclosed head in this, in this box so you don't actually have to look at the ugly toilet and we keep it enclosed and this actually makes a nice seat for when you're hanging out in here. This is also has an air conditioned space. We use an inverter system in this boat to run a 110 volt AC system which can basically run all day long up to eight hours without charge, recharging. We have some beautiful space forward that we've created underneath the lounge seat on the outside. Gave us some beautiful space to work with on the inside. Very wide space under here because we have a wider boat forward than most boats in this class. Very comfortable area. You could sleep in here. You can nap in here. It's air conditioned. You get out of the sun. It's a great place to hang out. You can even have lunch down here. So here we are in the front. 
view of the uh, 399 Sport. And as you can see, the, the hardtop design of this boat is very aerodynamic and, and it really does have a, 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 a lot of impact with the wind deflection as well as the wind in general running at speed. You know, the, with the design of the boat, it actually keeps downward pressure on the back of the top, which keeps downward pressure on the back of the boat, which is something that, that really plays into the performance of the boat as well. It's something you really want to have if you can right. create that effect. Rather than the traditional center console T-tops, wind has a habit of grabbing those tops. This, this is the opposite effect. So when you're driving the boat, you don't feel that wind actually grabbing the boat right. at speed. This keeps the boat planted. It keeps the wind very aerodynamic over the top of the boat. A lot of, a lot of center consoles have that issue when you get up into 60, 70 mile an hour speed, where sure. it's wind, the wind will actually lift the boat up from the top. Now you're seeing a lot of these oversized tops. Do that. It's just, yeah, the oversized flat tops. It's like just putting, catching wind. It's almost right? like putting a piece of plywood like, like up a there parasail. When you think about it. Yeah, so, so besides it, the so. styling and the looks that it gives this boat, it has a lot of functionality to it, similar to like a spoiler of a sports car. Actually, exactly. when you're running at speed, pushes the boat downwards and enhances your performance all around. So. Exactly. Great design. And also you can see the beautiful lounge seating that we have in the boat. Again, in, in, in just a very simple design in white with some silver. Really, really sharp looking boat. Really, really get a lot of attention. In yeah. So here we are up in the front of the 399 Sport. You can see our beautiful wraparound seating with drink holders and lighting up here under the gunnels. We have a, a, a fold-down headrest, which you can flip up or fold down, and especially when you're running up here, if you want to sit up here while the boat is running, that, that headrest being up really keeps you planted up front. Wind deflection is wonderful up here because the bow of the boat kind of protects you from the wind. Both, both in the forward seat and in the, in the um, lounge seating area, the wind is not really bad. The wind actually does angle up towards the top of the boat for the most part, so right. you, you get a lot of good wind deflection. There's actually a great system you have here. You just lift it up and drop it down one hand with absolutely no pressure at all yeah it's, all a, it really, takes. it's a really cool thing great really. system and we have storage even underneath the, the forward seating lots of storage in the floor boxes in the boat the rear hatch is big enough to put dive tanks in you know we have a we've thought out a lot of you have a lot of storage space. here on the hull side itself side compartment cap. space very easy to access the side compartment space most things people get on the boat the first thing most women want to do is where do i put my pocketbook where do okay. i put my stuff we have beautiful dry storage, very easy. Throw your shoes in there, throw your handbags in there, throw towels in there. Very, very easy to get stuff in and out of. Most of the boats, you gotta start opening hatches or going in the cabin. So we kind of really nailed it when we designed it that way. Well, Mark, thank you very much again Thanks, for the tour. The 399 Sport is absolutely beautiful, especially in this white and gray combination. If you haven't seen these boats in person, we recommend you scheduling something with Deep Impact directly. Go to the website, deepimpactboats.com, check out their Instagram, check out Center Consoles Only, uh, as well for more information. You know, we, Alan, we never talk about actually going boating. Uh, you know, anybody that would want to get a sea trial, definitely, you know, you can reach out to us and we'll set something up. Yeah. Um, about a week from now, we're going to Key West on the Florida Powerboat Club's annual Key West Poker Run with over 200 boats. And I believe this year about half of those boats are in the center console class. So we, we really have a, a really great group of people going down to Key West and we're going to have some fun. The blue and silver 399 will be my demo with the 400s. And we should should be faster than most of most of all the boats on the poker run, so we're gonna have some fun with it.